This is a HeadGum Podcast. And we are back. An unbelievable episode. A very exciting episode a very in many ways. Our, f- our first one at our new home, HeadGum. HeadGum. We're he- in the studio. Also, go to YouTube. Yes. What's our handle? Our handle is at here to help pod. You can go there. We have clips. We have the episode. All this so stuff. YouTube. If you want to have a visual component, at here to help pod. We are on YouTube, but don't not listen to it the way you are. So keep listening the way. Keep you are. Listen, but if you want to, if you want to watch, watch, watch it, it, we have a special one. We do today. We have a very special one. We always say that, but we mean it. We have. Uh, well, you know uh, what we let, should do for Steve Bergs? Huh. Not call it a special one. <laughs> it would not even say he's on the show. <laughs> He's uh, our dear friend. That's why we can get away with saying that. Well, I don't know him, but he seems all right. Uh, <laughs> Neither. So, I met him here. So uh, an actor yes. in your film, Self-Reliance. A professional best. So he comes in. I'd written a part from him in my movie, Self-Reliance. I needed Hulu, a- January a, 12th. I, maybe now. Potentially in four days. And he came on as an actor. He crushes it. He's in Sandler's movie, the basketball one. He is as delightful as you'd want him to be. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Boban Marjanovic. So please check him out. Tallest player in the NBA. And wildly strong. And so tall. We took a picture yes. and his hand is the size of my upper body, and potentially. A, and I got to say, apart from his size, very funny. Very funny. Very charming. Very smart. Yep. And as good of a vibe as you're going to get. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. <laughs> So here we are. We're here to help America's uh, favorite podcast, number one podcast in the United States of America. I would say Serbian's favorite podcast. Yeah, and we yeah. expect this. Ser- yeah. We expect the Serbian this better fight be a bump in Serbia with uh, <laughs> Boban sure. Marjanovic. Yeah. You say right. You yeah. joined us now, Boban. How do you pronounce his name? Uh, Don't look at the get, poster behind Get it, get it. Yeah. You said it right! I big, know about get it, but get it. Like. Big B and little G. Yeah, yeah. together again. And kind wow. of medium-ish small J. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so, for coming in, man. Yeah. No, thank you for having me, guys. For those who do not know Bowman, he's a professional basketball player. You're on the Houston Rockets right now. You had yes. practice today. Yes. Uh, he came after practice, which we appreciate. And the other thing about Bowman, how I know him, okay. is he's a great actor. And, wow. Uh, he was in my movie, and I was telling Gareth before you got here, but I wrote it with you in mind. You were the only guy I wanted for it, and I appreciate you doing it. You're awesome in the movie. Everybody who sees it, it's a real standout scene. So thanks for doing the movie. Yeah, you're great in the movie. Thank, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you for nice words coming from you. And I know you you was director, producer, and yeah, you're the main character in the movie. I really have I really have like great, great experience. A lot of advice from you. Thank you on that. And I really like, I really enjoy. No basketball uh, advice, right? Just no, acting advice. No basketball <laughs> yeah, advice. That's but you know, like, safe. I think we like, we like learning every single day something new. And this is like, a, this is what I hear. This, this the couple of nice words. This is like, make me even like, yeah. And even, even you feel proud and confident in the basketball court outside, walking on the street, that type of things. Oh, that's and, good. What I think with you, man, is when your basketball career is over, Push into the acting. Can you guys put me in the show? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's why we're yeah. doing this, yeah. man. You got that thing, yeah. man. You're great. Well, wow. I, I hate to interrupt, guys, but we have a caller on the line. Okay. If you want to have him join. Okay. Sorry, I talked well, too much. No, well, no you talked the it's right perfect. amount, and you said Jake gave you great advice. Amazing advice. So, so that's what this show is. So we're going to give advice to whoever We're going to give advice. We get advice. Okay. Is. I guess hello. you guys passing that. Yeah. You start us. All right. Here we go. Uh, hello, caller. Uh, welcome to the podcast. We're here to help. Uh, One pause. He's only doing the notebook because no, I do it. It's not. Oh, He's not okay. a notebook guy. You ever seen the movie Twins? Yes. It's like us. Oh. Have you ever seen the movie Single White Female? <laughs> no. That's really like us. <laughs> uh, it's where I kill Jake at the I try to kill Yesterday, Jake. Yesterday we did this and I was wearing this shirt and I mostly don't look great when we do our Zooms and Gareth goes, you look good today. Well, and I go, do you think, I said, thanks. Today he showed up. He's wearing the same clothes as me. Do you think that like I would imagine psycho. that Jake's going to wear the same shirt two days in a row? Let's go to the caller, All please. Right, and, and, right. me, and me too. I <laughs> yeah, you guys. Twins. Okay, but I, I, I We'll switch t-shirts, shirts after this. Okay, we'll see what happens. You. you look a little cooler than us. We look similar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> come on. We both look great. We all look great. <laughs> we look okay. We look great. Let's go bully me. All right, caller. Sorry about that. We just had to get some business out of the way. You're on as usual with Jake and Gareth. And we have a very special guest, professional basketball player, actor, Boban Marjanovic is with us as well. Seven four. Seven, seven 
foot four oh, inches. Yes, and the man is a seven <laughs> foot four actor and basketball player. Okay, so he's a triple threat. I see why this relates to my question now. Well, I got to tell well, you, we don't know your question. Yeah. So Gary so Foban okay. and myself are in the dark. So where are we at here? What's your name, please? So, yep. I'm Juliana. Hi, Juli Juliana. Okay. Where? Are Hi, you? Juliana. Where are you <laughs> from? <laughs> I can't do you writing the notes to me. I have to write them. We're in a fucking two shot twist will, to life. It's adorable. Just no, Gareth. On the next. Gareth, Jake. you know I love your weirdness. Yeah. This is where we both write. I know. Well, you've got a cute pencil. Just stop. You, you, guys, you, guys, you guys both cute. Thank you, bro. You guys look cute, yeah. both cute, dress nice. I've yeah. loved this guy. Dread, this guy's been my guy same. for 20 years. This is too much. I'm, I'm missing my brother. Hey, hold on. <laughs> I've known this guy for 20 years. This is too much. <laughs> hey. Hey, come on. What are we doing here? <laughs> good looking. Hey, good looking. Hey, hey, hey howdy pie. Hey, good looking. Hey, blue sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If when you walked in. Uh, <laughs> try it. Would he you, was laughing every time. Yeah, if you walked in and I go, hey, man, great to see you. And Gareth said this. Hey, man, great to see you. Self-reliance was so much fun. No. We've got to do that again. No, no, no. As hey. you. Oh, okay. Hey, honey pie, how you doing? No, the thing you said off camera <laughs> no. that you were going to try. Hey, big guy. <laughs> no, you little chicken shit. <laughs> he was going to say this. He wanted to say something. He better. wanted to say this. Hey, big dick, how you doing? You must have a big old dick. This and I said, led and I said, I wouldn't do it. He's a nice guy, but it's not going to land. <laughs> and Gareth said, I should try it. And I go. Just because, don't. because, Boba, well, hey, Jake, do it. Jake was talking about how his dad used to, to guys be like, "Hey, cutie pie." My father used to say to men. So I wasn't yeah. just going like, "Hey, he's gonna walk in." No. I'm gonna go, "Hey, big dick." My father used to say <laughs> to men. He would say he would call men good looking. So he would say without it being a joke, he'd go like, "Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? Good looking. Hey, honey." <laughs> And men would respond to him affectionately. Yes. So then so Gareth said, joke I evolved. should try it. I should say, hey, good looking. Yes. And then he said, I should say when he walks in, hey, big dick. And we got there slowly. But you see, there were some machinations that led and, up and to And I would see it like this. <laughs> and the other, we bring out an extra chair. And yeah. the other thing that's weird is that today he's dressing like me. And now doing a notepad and crossing his leg. It's too much, Garth. Wow. Juliana, we're really excited to have you on the show. Uh, you're on with Jake, Jake, and Boban. Uh, can we get uh, your age roughly and where are you calling from? I'm 20, and 20. I'm calling from Massachusetts. Uh, all right. What can uh, what can we help you with? I'm in college right now. Okay. I'm studying to be an elementary school teacher. But okay. the thing is, I'm very short. Oh, what? I'm 4 foot 10. 4 <laughs> 10, okay. 4 10. Yes. <laughs> okay. And so kids are constantly, you know, questioning my age and everything. They say what they want to say. The sure. kids kind of just say whatever's on their mind, yep. which I've gotten used to. But the thing that I'm more worried about is teachers thinking I'm a student and right. me like walking down the halls and then telling me to get back to class or something. So you're four foot ten and I don't know elementary school sizes, but what's the average size? Is that uh, first through fifth? Elementary is the first through sixth, technically. Okay. I'm looking to do grades more like first through third. Honestly, Smart. a big reason is we will be smaller. <laughs> so, like, there might be a little bit more of a height difference. Uh, but sixth grade, I'm, like, roughly the yeah. size of a sixth grader. Can I say something? You know, like, I have... I understand you because like I'm on but a different side because like I'm I'm really like from beginning from beginning of my life I was like tall, 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 tall person and they think I'm like the smartest and like the oldest guy in a group. In a, in, never mind if I'm on I'm on the youngest than everybody else. Sorry for my English by the way. But I want to say because I learned that to my all my years and my all my experience, because it depends on how like how great heart you are and you, how you believe in yourself and what is your confident passion. Like you know, like if you try to be what you want to be, this is who you who you will be. Like don't don't listen what people say, how the people how the people like look around because you if you listen every time that like you you will, like every time think about that and you will, you will not be happy. It's amazing you need to be happy who you are. And with your heart, with your knowledge, what you can be, what you can bring, and like look, so, look from the bright Bob, side. That is beautiful advice, Gareth. Listen to it next time you get dressed for one of these. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> be yourself. Yeah. You're beautiful yeah. guy. Yeah. You might be a little bit littler than yeah. me, but don't dress like yeah. me. And then do the stuff I do. Yeah. On a two shot. Shot. 
But yeah. maybe, maybe he wants to be like you. Maybe he, he's his idol. Because Come you guys together, idol. you know, like he wants to be like you. He's, he's like so, my little brother. He was like, oh, that, that, he was like, that shirt is so nice. That's what he did. I, that, I need well, to buy. I did see so, the shirt. <laughs> and yeah. yesterday, he, what I wish he did is what you gave the advice. Bowen, that advice is perfect. Believe it's in right. yourself. And, and that is go with your heart, yeah. listen to yourself, yeah. and have your inner confidence of who you are, Gareth. Yep. And if that tells dress you. For that, don't dress for the job. You want dress for the guy you want to be. <laughs> no. What? Hold what? on. No. What is that? <laughs> what is that? It's an, it's an, so, it's an, it's an American expression. Can, can, you, explain me, uh, can uh, you explain me? So, 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 it's, so it's, it's basically it's it's talking about manifesting what you want. So, <laughs> so what? Go ahead. Well, I mean, I don't have anything. I like Let's it. Be honest. I like this. Yeah. So, so it's basically what I'm saying is, you know, I, I, I don't need to necessarily dress out of my comfort zone. I just need to dress for who I want to be, and I want to be Jake. So, no. but when you got possible. dressed today, what were you thinking? I was th I was thinking, you know, like, I'll, I'll dress what they can fit. Yeah, <laughs> whatever fits you'll wear. I, I was like, what they bring on the, on the road, this is like what they can fit. So, Julian, I got a question for you, because I do think this ties back to you. So, one of the things <laughs> yeah. I think is going to set you apart from a fourth grader is what you wear. Right. Right. So I got kids who are 10 years old and their outfits are definitely the outfits of children. So potentially 410 is not tiny. Maybe it's you do the Boban thing where you listen to your heart. You have your confidence. God bless that. But you lean in to dressing and looking like an old lady teacher. <laughs> Juliana, you're 20 years old. You're a kid. When you are at school, you're not a 22 year old co-ed who just started teaching who's cute. You're a 65-year-old lady. You lean in. Cardigans. Do you wear glasses? I do sometimes, yeah. Well, you do you every do now, day at all work. all the time. And the glasses and you get an old lady chain. frame. Yeah, you got a chain. You get the old lady frame. <laughs> but, Juliana, yeah. it sounds like we're doing a joke here, but we're really pitching, and here's why. If you <laughs> okay. look like an old lady, and I'm not talking about wear the gray wig, but you lean into right. the kind of clothes that are not fashionable, they're comfortable. You get shoes that are meant for comfort, not aesthetic. Yeah. You get loose fitting uh -huh. slacks that don't flatter the body. <laughs> you get a sweatshirt that's fine. <laughs> and you wear your hair in a way that is okay. Maybe a gray streak yeah. if you're really looking for and it. And you wear glasses with a little chain. You bring a gross bag lunch. And all the kids go, that's definitely our teacher. You don't like this one. <laughs> uh, I look like, I love, I love, like I love, I love my teacher. You didn't describe my teacher. It's advice. You didn't describe, I think my advice is a little, little bit better, but I can, I can agree <laughs> no, with No, I, I think you're right. Like a little but, bit. Yeah. It's so, sorry, he more talk about like outside. I talk about more inside. Yes, but that's why we're a good team. Oh, okay. And Gareth just does what I do on the outside. Yeah, but Jake, like Boban's saying, the outside doesn't matter. So why are you so hung up on what I wear? Because that's what this call's about. So Juliana is afraid that the outside, and correct me if I'm wrong, Juliana, I'm asking, not telling, is that yeah. this career you want to do, you're afraid that the other kids are going to go, Miss Juliana is us. And they're not going to show respect. They're not going to show you authority. I think the one that like just scares me the most is teachers mistaking me for a child and like how I would respond to them. Yeah, but that's one of those things that, it happens a couple times and then they know. Yeah. What were you thinking, Mama? No, I say like we everybody kids, you know, like I'm 35 years old and we like we and we are kids. We are kids in a cart. You, yeah. You, you, yeah. You, you can never change that. You every time you have that. This is because you get great with the kids. Because yes, but like also, you, I'm gonna stand with you guys are both pushing this under the rug. It's very embarrassing to be a teacher with your students and have another sure. teacher go, hey, all you guys, sit down now. And then when Juliana <laughs> doesn't you. sit, like, they go, I'm stand? looking at you, yellow shirt. <laughs> and it's the gym teacher who goes, hey, young lady, get your butt down. And you go like, I'm Mrs. Watson. <laughs> That's humiliating. I mean, you're, you're basically asking her to Mrs. Doubtfire at her school. So the question is, are you down to like, I think some glasses, anything that'll subtly age you up, but wearing non-flattering slacks and, and dressing, like having like eight brooches on your top. Put t-shirt, I'm the teacher. 
Or yeah, <laughs> yes. Holy <laughs> shit. There you go. Or yeah. a name tag. Uh, yeah, name tag. Because they asked me how tall I am. I, I, Get a I, name I, I tag. I think to do like my tattoo here. I'm seven oh, four. That's don't so ask me, that funny. Don't ask me how it's weather up there. <laughs> a ne- it's same like a it, tag. It's same as now. A neck tag. <laughs> Wait, but hold on. Hold on, Juliana. I actually think that's a really fun idea for when you start a job. And that is a shirt that says, I might be little, but I'm the teacher. Because it's going smart. to spread with the other teachers. People are going to laugh at it. It's going to show your personality that you're not sensitive about your I home, like it. But it's going to say, and then it's preventing you from wearing the outfit that I pitched that nobody seems to like, but I did think was going to win. Well, it's when you said unflattering slacks that okay. I think we all dropped a little. It's a close second, but I think the, the funny t-shirt might might be better for me. Yes. Really? Yes, I like it a lot. Oh. What and, else? And you can sell you can sell the t-shirts like down on the school. Well, now you got a merch line. Yeah. Oh, you can see, this is a businessman. And, and no, my guy, and, we and, can yeah, sell And you can make a lot of money. Yeah, no, we we can sell it. We were all in the room when the idea <laughs> happened, my friend. So, Juliana, <laughs> do you think there's a reality of possibly uh, when you start this thing wearing a shirt that says something funny such as, I may be short, but I'm the teacher? I honestly could see myself doing that. I definitely have become a lot more comfortable with my height. Like, I think when I was a kid, obviously, um, I was more sensitive, but I'm really fine with it now. I make fun of myself all the time. My friends, you know, tease me about it, and I'm really fine with it. So I feel like that's definitely something I would do a little bit more than the Mrs. Doubtfire route. That sounds right. Yeah, okay. that fe- if you're down to do that, I mean, I think that's really funny and a really good way to kind of handle it. Do you feel like it's either a shirt, you could also do a pin? Right. The reason I say a pin is this. So Gareth is right. I have one nice shirt that I wear for all my press, and now I'm considering this press. We have one. And now that Gareth is wearing the same shirt as me, I'm realizing I probably need a second shirt. We need a second shirt. So my comment to you- No, we need a second shirt. No, we! No, yeah. (laughs) Now you understand what this show is. Uh, The show's called We're Here to Help. What it should be called is I Need Help. (laughs) Please help me. I need help from Gareth with Jake Johnson. (laughs) Uh, But here's what I'm saying about, here's what I'm saying about the pin. You wear the pin the first week of school every day because you can't wear the shirt every day, yep. but you can wear the pin and it could be something that becomes fun for the other teachers. Do you have anything, Bowen, where you'll do, because obviously at your height, that's a big focus of conversation. When you go, everybody's interested. I, I know you're a really warm guy. When you came on set, you say hi to everybody. When you walked in here, a lot of people don't do what you do. But you introduce yourself to everybody. Is that partly to make everybody comfortable, or is that just your personality? I think this is my personality, and and on the end, like you want to be comfortable with the guy who you meet. But right now, because we talk about her, she can be so mad because yeah. I have mad teacher that she's angry on everything. Like, how? Oh, why you do that? Why you do that? Like, do this, do this. Why you didn't do your homework? Uh, sit down. I don't want to listen to you anymore. Like, you you need to show uh, how say authority. Yes. Yeah. You need to show authority. This is because I married. I married my wife like five four. Five four and between us is big difference. Just know I know how she do to me. This is because you could try to be that kid. So she just there's almost like the Juliana so difference. She between just the gets aggressive early. She's yeah, the was, chihuahua like, and like, dominates. This you is know? what I want. <laughs> do this. <laughs> And stop laughing to te- teachers or like friends or co- colleagues. Whatever. Does your wife have a button, a little sign that says, I no. may be smaller than you, but I'm the boss? No, she don't care. I see that in the eyes. <laughs> the so, she, she don't need to care. That. So, Juliana, there's two things. And I think he's right there. I, and obviously, you know this because you're going to school for it. But the authority you will put over the kids, obviously, is going to fix that issue. I've had smaller teachers I was disrespectful to and bigger teachers. You're going to have some asshole kids like me and Gareth. You don't have a chance no matter what. I was good. You were good. No. But then you're going to have some <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. who are going to be know. good Can't kids. remember. <laughs> but I think the pin or the shirt is for the other teachers. Yeah, I think so, too. I like to think I'm pretty good with kids. And, you know, other like my family members, my friends and stuff will not hesitate to say I definitely have a big personality. I don't have a hard time opening my mouth and saying how I feel. So the authority thing, I think I actually got, but more just the kind of possible inevitable embarrassment of a teacher thinking I'm a student. But I really like the idea of like a pin or a funny t-shirt, you know, making fun of it. 
Well, I gotta yep. say, this is your victory here, sir. Yeah, well, That's well, your you came advice. In, you're one for one. It's I, one, me, me. I yeah. said, you won the call. I said, Mrs. This, Doubtfire. This is how we do. Yeah, yeah. This you won the call. Uh, our recommendation is coming from Boban. He's saying a shirt or a pin. Sounds like you're gonna take it. If anybody asks where you get the idea, the, uh, give them my phone number and tell them to call me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's got two He's phones. Got phone. so you get one of the phones. Call him on one of his two phones. Uh, thank you very much for the call. We appreciate you. Of course. Thank you so, so much for having Thank you. Me. All right, all the Thank time. you. Good luck. We are back, Jake. We are also brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> buddy, buddy, buddy. I love me some Squarespace. I don't know about you, Jakey J, but I I love it, okay? I would I would love for people to go check out Squarespace. Listen to me. I'm, I'm tongue-tied, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gilly, Gilly, Gilly. <laughs> Gilly. Yeah, Gilly. brother. Yeah, brother. Why, why, yeah, yeah. why don't you take a second? And okay, yeah. Get my get my ducks in a row mentally yeah. a little bit. I'm all Maybe over the place. I, I've been pounding coffee waiting for this event. I don't know if no people know this. Jake is a, a big, big Hollywood star. He's always pushing things and he's pushing them. So, so this got pushed about 45 minutes and I have been pounding espresso in the <laughs> garage. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Jake, by the way, I'm already frothing at the mouth to tell you the promo code. Whether you're just starting out or you're managing or you're you're trying to grow your brand, Brand or band, if your band had a brand, that could happen. <laughs> Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your terms. Okay? Now, this is the thing that I love, Jake. Squarespace is growing. I've been a fan of Squarespace for a while. But now, they have Fluid Engine, which is a next-generation website design system from Squarespace. It's never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. D D Jake? Let that soak in what I just said. Unbreakable creativity. Well, you know what? <laughs> we we should use this and get our website going. We should get Caitlin on board I, I, and create uh, a website I, for I, us I, and for I, you, Gilly. Are we conjoined twins sharing <laughs> the same brain? Because that's exactly what I was thinking, Jay. <laughs> God, sometimes, I swear, sometimes it's not even Pippin and Jordan. It's Jordan and Jordan. Yeah. Start with a best-in-class website template and customize every design Michael detail. Michael and David. With, uh, excuse me? Michael Jordan and David Jordan. Uh, I'm not sure. Who's he again? Exactly. Uh, it's not great to hear, Jake. Come on. We had momentum. We were having fun. We were on the same team, and all of a sudden, you put Sorry. me on an old island. I thought I, I thought I was muted. I don't belong on an archipelago. I'm a land-based critter, my man. Uh, now, you can customize every design detail with reimagined drag-and-drop technology for desktop or for mobile. Stretch your imagination online with Fluid Engine, built in and ready to go to any new Squarespace site. Also, online store. Sell your products on an online store. Jake, we have an online store. What do we do? We're selling products. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools to start selling online. And don't even get me started on their blogging tools. I'm get not even going to get into it. Gilly, no, get I'm not even going to get into it. I'm right, not no, even going to get into it. Gilly, here's I what I'm going to say. All right, here's Squarespace has powerful blogging tools to share stories, photos, videos, wow. and updates. Categorize them. Share them. Schedule your posts to make your content work for you. Listen. Listen to me, everybody. I, I'm, I'm PO'd right now. I have, I have got myself upset. Head to www.squarespace.com slash Gil sent me. That's G-I-L-S-E-N-T-M-E -E to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain using code Gil sent me. Squarespace.com slash Gil sent me. I'm angry. Hey, Gil, how do, you yeah, like new, how do you like the new code I got us? I love it, Jake. It's it's great. It's personalized. People find I'm fine. I finally feels like I'm getting a bit of this sun sunlight that you've been basking in because of the show. For well, how about this? Let's do something. Uh, what do you want, buddy? You Sorry get all about that too. I got I got so Gilly. hopped up Gilly. there. I put and my fist through the drywall. And the forty five minute wait thing you said that I pushed for. I was just yeah. talking to Alice because you were a little bit aggressive I, this morning. Uh, let's and, hey 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 brother. Yeah. Let's keep the dirty laundry in the hamper. OK, I love you, Jake. I love working with you, but I'm not looking to put stuff on the line that doesn't belong there. I don't need the neighbors looking at my dirty undies. They're my undies. So I appreciate what you're doing, but you stay away from her and you stay away from my issues. I'm not going to come to where you work and start working out issues on set with whatever big project you're doing. I know what you're doing, probably working with Ashton Kutcher or one of these big, big, big time stars. OK, now I'm Gareth, not going to come there. Gareth Reynolds on We're Here to Help. Uh, he's a hell of a guy. Agreed. Kill set me. Come with him. Hello. Welcome to We're Here to Help. You're on with Jake Johnson. Gareth Reynolds, who are you, where are you, and how old are you, roughly? Okay, I am Luke 
he, him. I'm coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, and I am 38 years old. So far, sounds like things are really great. Luke, I don't see a problem. (laughs) I've got no notes. What's going on, man? (laughs) Uh, Okay, well, I've just got this one uh, weird hobby that... uh, I see a potential problem. Mm -hmm. There's blood in the water. (laughs) Here we go. Weird hobby. I I don't know. Good for us, bad for you, my friend. Where it's been in my life now. All right, talk to us. So I'm pretty good with a Rubik's Cube. Whoa. Love this. Okay. And I've been solving them for a while. Sure. I'm pretty fast now, usually about 30 seconds or so. No kidding. Uh, Good for you. You're one of those people. Very jealous. Now, are you keeping the stickers on or are you taking them off? That's not what smart oh, people would my, ask. My model, Let me my talk model to him, is more Mandem- of a pro, pro model. Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. Because I, oh, I can do one real quick, just if you can yeah. remove Ugh. the stickers. The key is you got to make sure that they that they still have adhesive. But go ahead. You're doing it the old-fashioned way. Yeah. Respect. Love it. It's, okay. Well, I, I, I can. I also have a, like, a lot of stickerless models to sort of evade that. Not right? so I, crazy. It doesn't have stickers to take off. All right, Luke. So you're yeah. really good at a Rubik's Cube. Uh, I can't go down this yeah. weird rabbit hole of <laughs> stickers, no stickers. I think honestly, people who can do stuff like this, I find you guys really impressive. You have great brains. Uh, thank you. I think I don't include you in that. You're oh. definitely a guy who would take all the stickers off and yeah. do it in post. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to have <laughs> and, a fake cube in your and back it would pocket. still take you a while. Yeah. And a problem oh, yeah, it with takes a guy, ages. A guy, a problem with a guy like me is I think that you're all lying and it's impossible to fix these things. They're not meant to be solved. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that's I'm even like, darker. I'm like, not a chance. <laughs> I go, I've tried it, but I go like this. I turn this cube around. I can't even get the tube cube. I'm like, nah, I'm out. This doesn't work. It's not real life. So go ahead, Luke. What's the problem? You're great at a Rubik's cube. Yeah. Anybody can learn how to do it in like an hour or two if they not really true. want sure. to. Not true. Uh, not true. Not yes. true. That, that, will, that, that will take them, you know, that'll take them like two minutes to solve probably. I, I'm, not accurate. I'm no, fast. Luke, uh, listen, are, we'll, Luke, get, we'll get into your problem in a minute here, but just you are downplaying the skill. You, that, I, I, I think the problem might be you're a little bit insecure about how yeah, good your brain is. You're up there friend. in Canada being like, oh, it's not a problem. We're all, we're all, we could all do it if you really, put the your The SAT is pretty easy. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that was easy. All those IQ tests I used to take as a kid. Yeah, sure, I was in Mensa, but I wasn't like the top of it. Oh, come on. Everyone can move books with their mind. It's not a skill. <laughs> I'm just a regular guy. So, so... so I can see through walls and see what's on the other side. So, Luke, what is the issue yeah. here, my friend? Well, the issue is I just kind of don't know where that it fits into my everyday life because wow. the scene of, of cube people. Uh, oh, boy. They... <laughs> Tough to hear. They're, they're like mostly prepubescent math nerd boys and stuff sure. and Interesting. I, I don't fit in there so much as a 38 year old man so yeah um, i gotcha it could be potentially pretty helpful if like i wanted to um you know impress clients or something like that in my professional life what is but your profession you don't just whip out a kid's job. so i help uh associations and nonprofits. so okay. i have clients. Non-profit. So you think to close a deal you could be like <laughs> look <laughs> Running a nonprofit is a complicated puzzle, but complicated <laughs> well, puzzles are not as crazy as they seem. You could Good do Lord, it, Luke. You could do it if you did like there, a 30 there, second be... commercial. Yeah, yeah. So you are really good at Rubik's Cubes. You can solve them in 30 seconds, and you're wondering what? How can I make this fit into my daily life as an adult man? But uh, me- meaning what? It, like it, it, It's a kid's toy for the most part. Yes, sure. but do you enjoy doing it? I do. So yeah. and I'm get I, I keep drilling and trying to get faster and beat my times and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. my guy, there's a the amount of embarrassing hobbies that human beings do. A third of them are Olympic sports these days. Right. That you go, this isn't real life what you guys are doing and they go, yes it is. I'm actually a champion at it. And you go, oh, it's just a weird hobby that you're into. Your hobby shows something that I personally think would be an, an attractive trait, and that is you're pretty smart and you're pretty clever. But but he's asking for daily applicability. In, I mean, you can't, there isn't one. Yeah, but you also don't need it. You don't have to walk. I mean, are you a weirdo? Do you walk around with it all the time? Are you doing it uh, 19 hours a day, or do you just do it sometimes? 
if I'm going on the plane or on the bus, I might whip it out. Yeah. Of course. Let me, let me By the way, cool. cool. No, cool. wrong, wrong. Let really? me tell you. Yes. If I'm sitting next to someone on the plane and they're doing a Rubik's Cube. I'm Conversation like, started. I'm like, get the duct tape. Not me. This person needs to be taped to the chair just really? for the safety of it. It's not normal. If I sat next to someone on a plane and they were continuously Rubik's How about Rubik's some cubing, little geek playing Game Boy who's Way more normal. That's what I mean, but it's worse. It's how, weird. How it's, many? I'm just being honest. But I'll tell you what, Luke. I play on my phone nonstop chess. Okay. And if this is a Rubik's Cube, okay. it's still taking me nine hours to solve it. Yeah. But I'm always constantly in between it stuff. Would, it would be one thing if there was a guy sitting next to me doing a Rubik's Cube. Okay. This guy brought a little. Mm -hmm. yeah. If a guy is over, doing it over and over again, I'm like, this is weird. Not me. Yeah. I'm thinking this guy has a skill set. Now, is there anything that you could do? Are there competitions, Luke? Oh, uh, no. I'm, I'm nowhere near competition. Like when I say 30 seconds and you hear that's good, it's like, Pro level is like five seconds. A hundred, but, but here's what I'm saying. No, but here's what I'm saying. You're going after something. So you're not going to be the top. That's great. But you have a hobby. And this hobby is trying to put together a Rubik's Cube in five seconds and you're at 30. So if you shave your time to 25, that's interesting. If I'm your friend and we're in a bar, one of the questions I'm asking is, how's work at the nonprofit? Everything's good. How about, yeah, pretty good. My back's hurting. I'm balding. I don't know if I mentioned that. And you go, yeah, you've mentioned it. And I go, it's really bad under All bright right, lights. let's keep it on him because we're- I agree. Yeah. Then I'm going to say- I mean, the fact that you have a real life fear of lights is not great, but we'll talk not about- Not great that. here! <laughs> and then, then Luke- I'm missing a tooth. <laughs> it looks good. I'm telling you, it's going to help your stand up. No. Whoa! There you go. Hey, look better. at me with a full head of hair. Wow! <laughs> Tommy it's Selleck all of James. a sudden. <laughs> to complete the picture, I'm balding too. I don't know if that's... Of course we are, Luke. In the picture. So here's what I'm saying to you in the bar, and here's my point, is after we okay. get through the small talk about our hair, which we'd get in there, there's some pills you can do, my guy. I'll okay. talk to you about that at the bar. Right. Then I'm saying, what's your time on the cube? And if you go, I'm at 28 seconds, I go, you fucking shave two seconds, my guy. Then you're saying, how's the chest? And I go, I got beat by a nine-year-old. And you're going, why? And I go... Because my brain's not good enough to compete at a high level like you. But let's get you down to <laughs> but, 20. And let's get is, my rating up to a 900, that, which is humiliating. But that is such a... Uh, that is it. it. Other than, like, bringing the cube out, which is a no. Which is a maybe. Which is a no. And talking about it, there's really <laughs> not much else to it. What you really need is, like, there is a community for this stuff. Right. Right? But the, he said they're little guys. Uh-huh. You yeah, don't want to hang out with a I'm bunch like of little guys. I'm like double the age of everybody. Yeah, yeah I agree. And but I, if you I don't think wanna... there, are, there are, there's a cube, a cube but, community, but Luke, I'll are call you it. looking for a community? Cube community. Because I don't want to go down this weird road. I don't think you're asking, how do I make friends in the cube community? But I also don't want him going to a bar like he's read the game and he's showing up with a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Facts. Okay. So I wouldn't do this as like a pickup thing. Yeah. This isn't your peacock game. But it's... it's all, yes, oh, but... put it as a necklace. No, I mean, and wear a goofy hat. <laughs> yeah, wear a big hat. Call yourself Cube. Glasses and <laughs> or Rubik's. Luke, Luke Cube. I was just going to say, if I was going out to a bar to... It, maybe if it came up naturally that like, Somebody planted it so that it was there when I arrived, and no. it, it wasn't no. me just pulling it out of my if pocket. That, by the way, if that happened I'm at the bar, then I think you're a weirdo because I Luke, know you planted Luke, it. Luke, if someone finds out <laughs> that you are Rubik's Cube planting oh, and creeping, then listen, you're the weirdest. Listen, we're, we got to keep this as organic and natural as possible. No, my vote is yes. Do that, Luke, no. everywhere you go. <laughs> do not listen to Kevin. Do not listen to Kevin right now. You are not showing. Uh, hey, whoa, would you look at that? They got one of those bar Rubik's cubes. And then your friend goes, so what, man? Anyhow, the way I was talking about my, my mother's having really bad back pain. Oh, and you man, go, <laughs> look. Oh, 30 seconds. Not anyone could do that. Thank and, God they had that here. Anyway, so I don't really know what to do with my mom. I'm going to rearrange it again. Did you hear what I, I said it. about my mom's back? <laughs> yeah, that's a complicated puzzle, back surgery. You know what else is, but not to me? This one, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> so, Luke, in closing, I think we got to get out of this one uh -huh. because... My pitch uh -huh. to you is you don't have a problem. You have a skill. I would not overly lean into it because it's not a highly celebrated skill. I would not plant a Rubik's Cube in places you go. No. If you walk into a Chipotle and then go okay. like, hey, can I get a uh, chicken bowl with brown rice? Look at this. Whoa. You're a weirdo. Each section, I'm resolving <laughs> it. But the ability to have something that you can do in 30 seconds like this, I think it's pretty great. I would say don't join the community you already got you're already married okay. your wife is patient i see this as a non-issue keep going and when you're at 22 seconds i'd like you to call mm -hmm. i'd like you to film yourself doing it send it to the show and we would love to repost it 
But if it's over 22 seconds, You're you need joke. more practice. You're a joke. <laughs> Luke, I uh, I think that this is this is a home skill. You don't like I'm not going to show up to a bar with a slinky for a reason. These are little toys. Because you can't do it right. I can too. Put it. You throw it up the stairs or something like that. Exactly. Put it in an elevator. But stickers I, is your new nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like two of the stickers on my face where I'm like, boy, I came pretty close, but I not fully fall yet. Um, I think this is something just, I think I kind of, there is a Venn diagram of our advice here. Yeah. Keep it at home. Keep getting yeah. better at it. I do think there's a co- cube unity, which I think we should, obviously have to copyright, of people who are probably <clears throat> more your age who are into this. If you wanted to engage in that, I think yeah. there's a way to do that. But I also think this is one of those things that, you know, it's more of a home thing. I don't think you should be taking it out to the bar. No. I, w- I mean, if you want to talk about it to someone, it's a 10-second conversation. I know if my buddy kept bringing up the Rubik's right. Cube, I'd be like, I'm good. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just yeah. think don't feel, don't feel like you necessarily need to exploit this. Just enjoy it for what it is. And then, Luke, I'm going to add three seconds to my time and ask you when you get down to 25 seconds to please film mm-hmm. yourself and send it in. I could shoot for something a little like twenty is sub twenty is. Whoa! Is if you go sub twenty, I'm gonna All lose right, my fucking Bruce. mind. Let's go. If you get sub twenty, Luke, I'm gonna lose my top, my yeah. guy, because that's a real time. Okay. If you get nineteen All seconds, right. I'm gonna All freak right. out. He's gonna be peeling the stickers off. I can tell already. No peeling. I recognize a sticker <laughs> peeler when I talk. Luke, to one. thank you for the call, my friend. Good luck out there. Hey, thank you. All right, Will. All right, take care. Bye. 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 Thank you guys. <laughs> what a great video clip. Hey, thank you so much for checking it out. We're loving it. And uh, we want to thank you. And uh, you don't want to miss anything. So what should they do, Jake? Let's do another one. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys for watching us on YouTube. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of this quality content. Ring, ring. Here to help. Go ahead. Cut. That was a HeadGum Podcast.